about your work as a public author? I have one book out, um, Nina Hartley's Guide to Total Sex from Avery Press, out in 2006, and it is sort of a companion piece to the guide series. There were supposed to be pictures, but the publishing company went, ah, and there were no pictures, so it's all words. Sorry, guys. Um, and it is half of half, 50% my philosophy about sex, and 50% here's how you do it. Here's how I do what I do. Because I can do things with my mouth and two fingers that women go crazy for. So it's not about how big your dick is, guys. It's about what do you know about what you're doing and what do you know about where you're going. And so I have a really strong working knowledge of anatomy and physiology for men and women, and I understand what I'm doing. And most importantly, speaking as a health professional, the biggest problem people have is getting in their own way mentally. They think they have to be a certain way. They should be this. Why can't I? I should be this. It's like your body is what it is. It likes what it likes. It needs what it needs. It takes the time that it takes. Really. It just, it is what it is. And you can waste all your time going, I need to be more this. My dick needs to be bigger. Bad. And then you're having, you're messing yourself up. You're not having fun. Why are you not having fun? So if I can teach anybody anything, especially with my book, it's to give yourself and your partner a freaking break already. Um, you know, people look at me and go, well, you're so beautiful. I have plenty of figure flaws and that if I'm alone in a room, I will pick them apart on myself. So, you know, I'm not immune to it either. But I've learned what's important and what's important in an actual sexual situation with somebody worthy of your time. If someone is messing with you about your looks, that person needs to go home now. They don't deserve to be in your bed. I don't care how, you know what, get a dog. Um, because anybody who's worth spending your time with is never going to be mean to you and they're never going to pick at you or point out parts of your body that they don't like. It's like, why are you with me then? What, what, what? And, and why would I put up with that? So if you're putting up with someone, picking at you, look at that. And if you're a person who goes, pick, 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 look at that because your behavior is up to you. My behavior is my responsibility and I choose never to be mean about sex. It's too personal and it's too important and it's too part of an intimate life. I can say, please pick up your underwear or whatever, but I can you never pick at somebody about, about their sexuality. Um, and if you feel yourself too angry to talk about it, get help. Get it, go see a counselor, get outside help. Um, because I've been unhappily married, I've been happily married, and I see in my unhappy marriage how the resentments build up and yikes, and eventually the idea of having sex with this person is so horrible to you. It's like, why are we married? So Take be grown-ups now, sex is for grown-ups, and take responsibility for your mood and your behavior and how you treat your partner. And if you cannot find that generosity, see if you can get help getting it back. You know, again, counseling is often useful. Um, and if it just cannot be got back, you might need to look at other options. Um, you might not be good partners for each other anymore. Now, it took me 20 years to figure that out with my first husband. Um, but it was clear we were not good partners. Because what happens often in life is you get married at a certain age and then later on you develop interests that you either didn't know you had or you were stuffing so deep that you thought you could live without these things. Could, whatever these things are, it doesn't matter what it is. And so sometimes after, after five or 10 or 20 years of marriage, the deep desire a person might have to, whatever, want a threesome cross to, you know, whatever um, comes out and can cause a problem uh, within a marriage. So the more you can be honest with each other and yourself, um, the better. So my book talks about that. And hopefully people can say, point to something in the book and go, well, I'm going to talk about that. It's easier to talk about something in a book than say something about me and you. It's like, oh, what an interesting idea over here, darling. Let's talk about this idea over here as opposed to I'm having issues that we have to talk about because no one likes to hear the we have to talk that's just like the words of death. Um, so if it can be, hey, let's have a conversation about this thing I read in this book. Oh my God, we don't believe it. Nina Hart said in this book. And it can open up a conversation there. It's easier said than done, but it's really, really worth the effort. And I've come from a place in my life where sex was a really great idea. And then I went through a period of being very clumsy at it, to being very better at it, to finally get myself out of a bad relationship because I realized I was being treated badly and into a good relationship. So uh, sexuality changes over time, our, our needs change over time, our desires change over time, um, and we have to be okay with that. We're not static. And what the culture said, it has to be monogamous and heterosexual for life. That only fits like 20% of the population, and the rest of us are in some kind of different zone. And it, as long as you're not actively hurting anybody else and actively deceiving anybody else, 
Easier said than done. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Have fun. Be big. <laughs> um, can you tell us about your latest movie? My latest movie? Uh, <laughs> um, I've been working recently a lot for Sweetheart and Sweet Center Productions. Um, which is the lovely uh, Sweet Heart Productions, the lovely Girl Girl Company, and then Sweet Sinners is uh, the same imprint, but the boy the boy girl imprint of the of the, the lovely um, series developed by Nico Noel and Mile High Distributors, and they are um, more passionate, real affection, lots of fun, normal looking people. You know, pretty enough, but not like you know pneumatic and not nice. Um, and I like working for Nika Noel because she is, she gives a, you know, she makes a nice time in the set, she's very relaxed, people are having a good time, she puts people together and she partners up people really well and I've never, she's never put me with anybody that I didn't go, that was really fun, you could think, I never had, I had no clue, that was really good. Um, I've been working with Triangle Films, which is another lovely lesbian uh, company out of California. Uh, and. I don't work as often these days as I would like, so I don't have a whole lot of other new movies to talk about. And um, what is the name of your website? Nina.com is where you can find me online. Excellent. And uh, can we find you on Twitter or Facebook? Yes, I'm on Twitter. I think it's Nina Dash Hartley. Nina dot. <laughs> um, I'm so clearly into the web 2.0, um, and I. My Facebook page is a mess, don't even bother with that. I, I, I can't even remember my password, okay? I don't even know what my password is that I, I don't know when the last time it was updated. I have no clue. Um, Nina.com is, and that's where I have a forum section there, and that's where people can actually email, email me in the forums, post it, and I um, answer people's questions. And um, what does your shirt say? I can't read upside down. It says... Adult Video Universe. Okay, Adult Video... Adult Video Universe! Hey! <laughs> and um, do you have anything to say to your fans over there? Um, I do, um, which has been saying for the last 20 minutes. Um, take responsibility for your sex life and uh, never stop learning about sex, sexuality, your own, your partner, sexuality in general. There's a lot of amazing information out there um, in books and on the web that is really useful to um, your pleasure. Go ahead and get more comfortable with pleasure, and if you can, stop seeing pleasure as something that's gay or straight, something that people do. Don't forget, men who should be getting in touch with their butt, gay is who you love, not what you do. So if you want a chick to be doing it, you're straight. Don't worry about it. Why should gay men have all the fun? Come on. You know, they get all their body, you only get your dick? Please, give me a break. Um, so everyone should have full access to all their bodies, all the pleasure that they want. and. Um, I'm a firm believer in that, the transformative and healing power of physical pleasure because our sexual response is such an amazing thing that we should honor it and exercise it frequently.